Did y'all catch that? See, if you can get in your mind, in your spirit, let me start talking about Jesus. He'll show up. Yeah, yeah, they, 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 there's something significant to saying and making it a habit, a custom, a practice to say, let me talk about Jesus, especially if you connect it to the true vine. Talk about Jesus, and he'll show up. He will show up in your life, in your situation. That, that's why you ought to get up talking about him in the morning. That's why you ought to talk about him at noonday. That's why you ought to talk about him when you're riding in your car. That's why you ought to talk about it when, when your children are acting. Let me start talking about Jesus. Hello, somebody. Because if you talk about him, he will show up. Now, I, I don't care what the world says. There is something about the name of Jesus. Somebody know where I'm right about it. It might seem old fogey to some of you. It might seem a pastor that's old timey. But there's something about the name of Jesus. That when you just start repeating that name, that it shifts the atmosphere all around you. Somebody know what I'm talking about. Because maybe you was in your house by yourself walking around and just talking about the name of Jesus and tears begin to flow down your eyes. What happened? It's because when you talk about Jesus, he will show up. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. He will show up. And so Jesus, John the Baptist is talking about Jesus and Jesus shows up. And Jesus said, hey, cuz, I need a favor. Because John the Baptist was his cuz. He said, cuz, I need you to baptize me. Yeah, John the Baptist like, what? Man, I, you ought to be baptizing me. Man, because John understood. I tried to get you to see. He understood who he was. He already said somebody's coming greater. But Jesus said, Jesus said, no, John, I need you, cuz. To baptize me. And, and the reason that's significant is because we need to understand that, that Jesus understood he needed to be baptized. And if it's good enough for him, it ought to be good enough. Talk to me, somebody. Because it, it identifies as a, as a part of the covenant. It's not that anything significant is in the water, but you're saying, I identify with the Christian movement, with God. That's why, that's why Jesus wanted to be baptized. And if it's good enough for him, it ought to be good enough for every one of us. And if you've never been baptized, never given your life to Christ, when we extend the invitation, you need to come up here because if it's good enough for Jesus, hello, it ought to be good enough for you. Yeah. So, so Jesus, Jesus says, he said, now, nah, John, I need you to baptize me. John, like, no, nah, I don't know, man. Okay. Yeah, that's, what, that's what you want. That, that, that's what you need. And then it's against that push on, Vanessa, that we get to our theme passage. Now, it says that as soon as Jesus was baptized, he went up out of the water. At that moment, heaven was open, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and lighting on him. And a voice from heaven said, this is my son whom I love. With him I'm well pleased. Now, now, I want you to grab this. As soon as Jesus came up, the Holy Spirit came down. Are y'all with me in here? And then the Father spoke from heaven. Now, 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 we could get into the Trinity, but that's a whole other sermon. But you couldn't note that in your Bible. I see all three of them right there. There's a whole bunch of God right there. Because if Jesus is coming up, Spirit is coming down, and then there's a voice from the Father saying, this is my son. In whom I'm well pleased. Well, now, this, this is my first major point I need you to grab today. This is Jesus being confirmed by his Father. Did you hear what I said? This is Jesus being confirmed by his Father. Why is this significant, Pastor? Because up to this time, Jesus is 30 years old. He, he's not done any, he, he has not healed anybody from the blinded eye. He, he, he's not told any lame people to, to take up your bed and walk. 
He, he is not fed 5,000 or 4,000. He's not unstopped, Sister Viola, any death he is. He's not done any of that. Not, not now. Not, not until after he is confirmed by his father. Are y'all missing that in here? You know, he, he, now he, he's, he's been living now for 30 plus years. But he hasn't done any of that stuff. None of that starts until he is confirmed by his father. I know this ain't Father's Day, but I'm going to drop this in for free. Those of you that are fathers in here, you got to learn how to confirm your children. Because there's some things they will not even do, even attempt to do, unless you confirm them. Are y'all with me in here? Amen. You just can't talk about what they're not, what you ain't doing, you're trifling. You've got to learn how to confirm them. Somebody say confirm them. So you see, you, you've got children, Pastor, I don't know where they are. Find out and confirm them. The pastor, she won't let me see them. You send an email, Facebook them, do something and confirm. Come on, talk to me, somebody. And confirm them. Part of our problem today in our society is you've got a lot of people walking around wounded because they have not been confirmed. Amen. We, we, got, some, we got some sisters walking around 20 looking like they're 30 because they have not been confirmed. We, we've got, we've got, we've got, we've got, we've got a lot of, yeah, yeah, the little boys walking around in grown folks' bodies because they have not been confirmed. Amen. Y'all just looking at me strange, but I ain't scared of you. The problem we have is that people are existing and functioning that have not been confirmed. Now imagine two people get together who have not been confirmed. Can I help us in here? That's part of our problem. Because then each one is looking for the other one to confirm them. Amen. Some of you husbands, well, my wife tripping. No, she ain't tripping. Her daddy didn't confirm her. And so now she needs you to confirm her. And you didn't even know you needed to confirm her. Hello, somebody. Well, she 21, what's up? Because you missed it. Confirmation is important. There are things that don't happen until you confirm. Hello, somebody. I don't care about your, your gifts, your talents, who you know, what your last name is. Some things won't happen until your life, until you are confirmed. It moves you to a whole nother level. See, some things you, it won't happen if people are not speaking life into you. Then she tripping about her husband. And what's wrong with him? Because his daddy didn't confirm him. Why he act that way? Because he ain't never been confirmed. That's the reason. Well, how, come, how come he can't have enough to, to go do this and go do that? Because he ain't never been confirmed. He ain't never been told. He's never been told, oh yeah, that all things are possible through Christ. That you can do this. All he's ever heard is what he can't do. And then when you mad at him, that's all you talking about, what he ain't doing. And then you want something different. Can I help us in here? It's because he, he's not been confirmed. And so if you want, if you want the person to be different, you got to know how to confirm them. Confirmation. Oh, I'm helping some people. Y'all looking at me strange. But confirmation is key. It's one thing to be connected. Jesus is the true vine, but he still needed confirmation. Daddy said, hey, this is my son. I'm well pleased with him. That's all he said. But he confirmed him. And that confirmation makes difference. All the difference. So some of you that are parents, I'd be getting in my mind, make a note to myself. Man, I'm going to do some confirming. 
we've lost a generation. And many of them lost because they have not been confirmed on this. Didn't get it in classrooms, didn't get it at home, didn't get it in churches. Then you wonder why they off the chain. Because they need confirmation. Well, hello, somebody. See, when you connected to the true vine and you want to stay connected, it's important that you have people in your life that confirm you. Because somebody is always going to be trying to tear down. Are you with me in here? So you got to have some people. Oh, yeah, dog. Yeah, I, I can see you. But see, the devil, we got, well, you know you're too old. You, you, you know you ain't smart enough. You know you, you, there ain't no way you can do it. Because he doesn't want you to live a life confirmed. And what you need to do is say, no, devil, you a lie. That's why you got to have people that speak into your life, hello, somebody, that can confirm you. Part of our problem is some of us just, you know, I don't know if it's jealousy, what it is, we don't want to confirm our fellow peoples, especially y'all African-Americans, especially women. Mm. She said something like that. We don't want to confirm. This brother don't want to confirm another brother. This sister don't want to confirm another sister. We just almost we afraid that God's gonna run out of blessings. We afraid to confirm somebody else. Oh, you can do that. Yeah, you 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 keep keep on keeping on. You got to know how to confirm people because when you connect it, that's major. The confirmation. Even Jesus needed it. And if Jesus needed it, don't look at me crazy. I don't need that. Yeah, you do. Jesus just got baptized. You need to be baptized, and you need to be confirmed too. Amen. Just because you got a $20 bill in your pocket don't mean you don't need it. You're going to need it. Amen. And some people, if you just thought about for a moment, where would you be if you had gotten confirmed? Woo! That's powerful right there. Think about where you would be. The knuckleheads you wouldn't have got involved with. Because see, when you're not confirmed, you just hook up with people. Only five of y'all being real. Y'all know this is a raw, real relevant place. What's up? You know good and well, part of the reason you got hooked up with some jokers. The lack of confirmation. You were better than all of that, but wasn't nobody telling you that. Wasn't nobody speaking destiny into you. So now you start searching for stuff, and, and it could be a person, could be substance. Because now I just need to be accepted. I need to be valued. I, I need to feel good about myself. And so this joker can make me somewhat feel good about myself, even though they're not, are y'all hearing me, confirming who I am. Because they turn around and say stuff like, you know you ain't going to be nothing without me. Now, if you're really going to be something, hello, somebody, then you're going to be something with or without me. If you understand that you are fearfully and wonderfully made, you already the bomb diggity baby. With or without them, it's God that made you who you are. You are connected to the true vine. And when you confirm, that's it, Sister Pat. I thought you knew. You might have to tell somebody that. I thought you knew. You, you, obviously, you got it twisted if you think my value depends on you. You got it real twisted, baby. Because my value comes from being connected to the true value. It ain't got nothing to do with you, baby. Man, I am confirmed by the Lord. All right. Am I all right? I'm way behind. 
let me press on here. The Bible says in verse in chapter four, verse one. Now, this story continues. I want to say this. Uh, you know, Matthew did not write this and have chapter three, chapter four. That's something that folk added later. When he wrote it, he just wrote this to the people. Same way you write to people. Very few you say, well, this is chapter one. This is chapter two. Y'all just write and say, here's what I'm trying to tell you. And that's what Matthew did. And some people came along and said, hey, we're going to put a chapter divide in here. But this is, goes with this story from chapter number three. After this baptism takes place, then Jesus was led by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. I need you to stay with me. I need you to grow up on this, those of you that are connected to the true vine. With confirmation, when, when Jesus, or when God confirms you, yeah, Satan will confront you. Did you hear what I said? When you are confirmed by God, God says, yep, this is what I want you to do. You've got to get ready for confrontation. Are y'all with me in here? Too many people come to church. You want, you want confirmation without confrontation. But it don't work that way because the devil don't want you to stay connected. So he's going to show up and confront you to try to get you to disconnect from the true vine. It's part of his process. So when you get confirmed, get ready for the confrontation. He's about to show up. He's about to bring his A game to see if he can keep you from staying connected. You just got confirmed. God, he knows the anointing is on your life. So what he decides now, I, I need to do something about this because the anointing is on their life. I need to mess them up. So then he brings temptation. It's right there in the text. He brings temptation. Jesus been out there for 40 days fasting. And Satan said, hey, now why don't you just turn the stones into bread? You know you're hungry. Common sense say you're hungry. Fast for 40 days, you're going to be hungry. Amen. Matter of fact, I advise you right now, most of you, we ain't ready for that. Don't be signing up because I'm going to start tomorrow. I'm going to fast for 40 days. No bread, no water. Now you know you lie. Amen. Because the people who did that in Scripture, man, it was supernaturally based. Man, these people were prayer. I mean, the time with God. When you, J Jesus did that. Moses did that. Elijah did that. The average person didn't say, I'm fasting for 40 days. No food, no water. Turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, I ain't ready for that yet. I ain't ready for that yet, now. I'll give up Facebook or something, but that's so. I want you to think now. I, I need to say this. I need to help us for real. Now, fasting will help you, though, because it'll move you off of whatever your issue is. Amen. 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 I mean, if you got some other vice that's out there that's got you, try fasting. If you if you if you intense about your fast, you you lose sight of that. Imagine that if you stop eating and drinking, you ain't gonna be thinking about nothing else but a cheeseburger. <laughs> Amen. You thinking about McDonald's, Burger King, whatever these other issues was, you forget all about. Think about it. Fasting will help you for real. Because if you stop saying, I'm going to be fair, I'm going to be sincere, it's going to move your mind to just one issue here. Amen. The other issues get dropped. So that's why I encourage us to fast. So the tempter comes to me and says, hey, Jesus, why don't you turn it? Why don't, why, don't you, why don't you turn that stone into bread? Jesus says in verse 4, chapter 4, he said, I ain't doing that. Man, man cannot live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of Mouth of God, I need you to grab this. I need to help the people that are trying to stay connected to the true vine. You got to have a word in you. 
That's why you got to stay connected because you can't always run from the devil. You just got to have a word in you. Sometimes you got to give the word back to that joke. You say, oh, no, no, devil, I ain't receiving that devil. You are a liar from the pits of hell. I am standing on the word of God because he will come to you and say, now, you need to do this. You, you ain't that. You say, oh, no, no, God didn't say that about me. I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. I can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens me. You, you say, no, no, I can't run from the hater but I can put the hate on the run because of the word that God has planted in my heart, in my soul, in my mouth. That's why you got to read a word to keep a word inside of you because you don't know when the devil is going to come your way. But I guarantee you one thing. If you've been confirmed, confrontation is just around the corner because he's going to show up and you got to have a word. Put that joke on the run. Nothing else you tell God is not giving me a spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and a sound mind. You got to know how to speak a word over your own life. Who am I talking to in here? Because, see, the devil will be so busy spitting game that you got to know how to have your own praise party sometime. You got to know how, how to speak into your own life sometime. Because the people around you, they may not be confirmed, so they can't confirm you either. Can I get a witness in here? Now, the Bible said, I got to run on. The Bible said in verses 5 through 7, then the devil took him to the holy city and had him stand at the highest point of the temple. He said, if, and that makes it conditional, if you are the son of God, throw yourself down. You know the Bible said the angel's going to catch you couple things I need you to see. First of all, if makes it conditional. We talked about that on last Sunday. Makes it a conditional thing. But notice what the devil has done suddenly because this, this is important for the people that's in your life. He did not say since you are the son of God. He immediately wants to cast uh, some doubt on Jesus' confirmation. Did you hear me? He, he immediately keep, he wants to cast some doubt on what the father has said about his son. That's why you got to be careful about people who talk to you in your ear because they can be subtle with it. He said, now, if you're the son of man, now here's what you need to do. Da, da, da. He moved on right on. But what he was doing was planting a seed, saying, now, are you sure you, you the son of God? He was trying to cast doubt on the confirmation. I'm trying to help somebody for free. Many of you in here, you, you know you confirm. The problem is the people around you always dropping some subtle stuff. If you say, if you supposed to be what you say you are, if, even though you've been confirmed. Because remember, being connected to the truth, I don't mean you're perfect. But I am confirmed. Somebody just missed that. Turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, I'm not perfect, but I am confirmed. Yeah, yeah, that's for the anointed people. Understand who you are, whose you are. You may not be perfect, but when you are confirmed, don't allow other people to twist up your confirmation. Now you want to, I don't know, I don't know, I don't, man, I don't know where I'm at now. I done got totally confused. I don't know, I might go be Islamic. I don't know, I'm just confused. That's what happens to people because they allow folk in their ear that's subtly saying stuff. I'm on it. Yeah, I'm on it. And you got to be careful. Say, hold it, now. I got to guard my ear gate because I ain't got time for this stuff. And he, so he said, now, Jesus, you deal, man, just going out there and jump. And the, the angels, the Bible said the angels are going to catch you. The Bible don't say that. The Lord don't say that. He'll keep you from falling. Hello, somebody. He'll catch you if you're slipping. But if you just go out and jump off of the top of this building, you on your own. I got news for you. You just decide today, well, I'm going to the roof of purpose of life and jumping off. Guess what? We having your funeral next week. Be a casket right here. 
Somebody going to stand and say, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Because you shouldn't have jumped. The Lord ain't told you to jump. He ain't guaranteed you. He's going to protect you if you jump with your crazy self. He ain't in that. He going to keep you from falling. He going he to catch you if you slip. If you intentionally go do something nuts. You on your own, baby. Don't be getting mad at God. You was the one jumped off the building. Should have kept your butt on the ground. And so Jesus, Jesus, oh man, I ain't getting ready to jump off nothing's building. I can't be testing God jumping off a building. Because that ain't him. I'm connected. I'm confirmed. I ain't got to do that. I already know who I am. I ain't trying to con check to see if he'll catch me and jump off a building. That ain't necessary. Well, you're going to do enough stuff on your own that you're going to need God to be involved in helping me somebody. Don't get too holy on me. So then you know, ain't no sense in me trying him by jumping off the top of no building. Amen. Amen. And so, and so, you know, Jesus is dealing with this confrontation. Now, the crazy part of it is the devil, you know, he don't ever stop. He's always coming. But the thing of it is the reason he keeps coming, I'm trying to help somebody that's going through right now. The reason he keeps coming is because you have him frustrated. See, when you stay connected, in your connection, you've been confirmed. And you stay connected through the, through the confrontation. It leads to the enemy's frustration. Because he's thinking, why don't you give up? Gwen, why don't you throw in the towel? As much as you suffered, as much as you've gone through, why are you still trying to come to church? Why are you still trying to pray? Why are you still trying to talk to God? Oh, the, the, I done put you through and brought your way, and you still trying to stay connected. It causes the enemy, to Talisha, to, to be frustrated. So he keeps on coming. He's like, what the world? Why ain't Donita giving up by now? Why hasn't she thrown in the time? Well, why, why sure do you keep on trusting God with all that you've been through? The enemy gets frustrated. So the enemy, the enemy, he goes, he goes to, to Jesus a third time. And then he says to Jesus, to Jesus, take a look around. I want you to look. Press forward, Vanessa. He said, I want you to look at all this I'll give you. I'll give you all the whole kingdom. I'll give you the whole kingdom. Next one. I'll give you the whole kingdom if you just bow down and worship me. Back up. Back up. I'll give you the whole kingdom if you just bow down and worship me. Now, what, what, was, what was he up with? What was he trying to do with that, Pastor? What he was trying to do is say, Jesus, you can have the crown without the cross. Yeah, yeah, he's saying, Jesus, I give you everything. Everything you're seeing, Jesus, just look over it. I'm willing to give you the, the, the crown without the cross. Our problem today is so many people don't want to go through what God wants them to go through in terms of being, staying, remaining connected. Are y'all hearing me in here? So, so many times the temptation comes along, you can swap the crown and say let me get it now and not bear the cross and brother Jerry oftentimes people will decide I'm going to take that way out because it seems a little easier it seems a little shorter and you missing out that the devil has set you up what you really want to do is say let me stay well, stay connected to the true vine let me stay connected to what God is up to in my life because he has been blessing me so rather than me disconnect and say I'm going to do this on my own and wake up one 
one day and find out, oh, this ain't, this grass ain't greener on the other side. This thing ain't the way I thought it was going to be. Because you do know the devil can lie, don't you? Because that's what he just did with the previous temptation. He told a half-truth, and a half-truth is still a lie. He's the master of lying. So you don't want to step out on him thinking you're going to get a crown. Y'all don't hear me in here. And think you missing the cross that God is going to help you to bear. Do y'all hear me in here? And so Jesus, I can't do that. I can't do that. I cannot bow down and worship the enemy. I can't bow down and worship you. You heard my daddy's confirmation. And see, fathers, that's why we need to confirm our children. Because they need to know, no, son, you just persevere. I know it gets rough sometimes, but you hold on, son. It's going to be all right. Because if you don't tell that son that, yeah, yeah, Dion, then that son is subject to get on the wrong track, thinking he found something easier and faster. Hello, somebody. Yeah, y'all do know there's a bunch of people out there that's crazy, right? Amen. Amen. So that's why you got to confirm them because the devil will tempt them with some nasty girls or some trifling boys. Don't y'all look at me strange. We all got some in our family. Some nasty girls and some trifling boys. Why y'all looking at me? Turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, he's talking about your family too. Yeah, we all got some in our families. Look long enough. There's some nasty girls and some trifling boys. Y'all just gonna look at me and act like y'all don't know what I'm talking about. But the real deal is they're there. And so you got to confirm them so they can deal with the confrontation. Hello, somebody. And understand that every time that they give God praise, every time they make up in their mind that they gonna stay connected to the true vine. They bring about the enemy's frustration. But I came by to tell the people who are confirmed, you just hold on because everything is going to be all right. White side, everything going to be all right. How do you know, preacher? Because the Bible said in verse 11, there in chapter 4, the Bible said, then the devil left him and angel came and attended him. Did y'all hear me in here? The reason why you want to stay connected when you've been confirmed, if you stay connected, the devil is going to have to leave you alone when the road gets the roughest. Angels are going to come down. Do y'all hear me in here? And they going to attend to you. Why y'all looking at me strange? Some of y'all looking like you don't believe in angels. But I heard the old saints who had a hymn that said angels keep watching over me where my old school people at they said it's all day and it's all night that the angels keep watching over me my lord well let me get up out of here but somebody the reason why you survived and you still holding on to the true vine is that angels showed up yes they did and they attended to you have a flashback for just a moment of that bad car wreck you could have died it was angels showed up yes they did and they attended to you the reason why you didn't lose your mind over the stress you was under is angels showed up and attended to you when your money was funny and your change was strange angels showed up and attended to you when you didn't have 
have a friend in this world. Angels showed up and attended to you. Anybody in here can pull your church face down. You were crying late in the midnight hour. But don't you know you would have committed suicide. But angels showed up. Yes, they did. And attended to you. Who am I talking to? Anybody in here can be real enough. You was in a bad situation. But angels showed up and attended to you. Yes, you were. The road got rough and rocky. But angels showed up and attended to you. Won't the Lord dispatch some angels that'll put their arms all around you. Let you know that everything is going to be all right. I got to get up out of here. But to all of my people who are confirmed, the Lord told me to tell you it's going to be all right. You just stand on the word of God. This morning in the prayer room, I heard the prayer warriors say that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Well, what they were saying, y'all, is that we've been confirmed and angels are going to be right there. And no weapon that's formed against us shall prosper. I came by to let somebody know that everything is working out for your good because you've been confirmed. Where my confirmed people at? What the Lord told me to tell you you're going to be the head and not the tail. Just like Fred Hammond said, you're going to be blessed going in and blessed coming out. You're going to be blessed in the city and blessed in the field. I know the devil has been trying to tell you you ain't going to get free in 2014 but he is a lie. He's been trying to tell you what you can't do and where you can't go but I came by to tell you he's a lie. You keep holding on to God's unchanging hand. You understand you've been confirmed for greatness and because you've been confirmed God will turn it around where are my people you feel something in your spirit in 2014 it's going to be your year you going to get set free God's going to give increase over your life you can't be scared in this season because the devil is talking outside of his neck you got to stand on the promises of God and say I receive everything that the Lord has for my life you got to stand on the word of God you got to stand and say greater is he that is in me than he that's in the world you got to tell the devil you a lie you gonna have to get off of my life get out of my mind get out of my spirit get off of my finances get off of my family because God is in control anybody in here feel it in your spirit you've been confirmed for a greater anointing you've been confirmed for greater blessings you've been confirmed for a greater breakthrough open your mouth and shout I've been confirmed I've been confirmed I've been confirmed I've been confirmed
See, when we praise the Lord, the devil gets mad. When confirmed people give God praise, it makes him frustrated me. Because he's thinking, well, after all the shots I took at you this week, for all the hell I put you through since last Sunday, how is it you still keep coming back, waving your hand, standing on your feet, opening your mouth? He gets frustrated. He don't understand that it's all day, it's all night. Angels keep watching. Come on, I got it. We can really send an invitation in this place. Because the real deal, if you've never been baptized, you need to be at this altar. You need to give your life to Christ. And as an outward show of that signing up with Jesus, be baptized. Because you need to be connected to the true vine. I know for a fact that I've been confirmed behind the confirmation always comes confrontation. But boy, I sure can report that them angels keep watching. They keep watching over me. They keep showing up. They keep watching over me on. They just keep on showing up. My confirmed people know what I'm talking about. You just trying to do what God called you to do. You get confronted. The enemy's busy. But ain't it good news? An angel. Keep watching over. The reason you didn't hurt somebody, angels. Kept watching over you. The reason you didn't go off, angels. Kept watching over you. The reason you didn't click, angels. Kept watching over you. The reason you, you didn't just smoke something and lose your mind. Angels kept watching. They'll keep watching over you. We extend the invitation. Come on. And we ask all of the able to please stand. God speaking to your heart. We just invite you to come. Our prayer warriors are here. And the truth of the matter is, there's some of you listening to me right now. Pastor, I never was confirmed. And you need to be at this altar because you need confirmation. I need to be confirmed. I've been floating and doing my own thing. I need to be confirmed. That's the reason I'm sometimes attached to the vine, sometimes not, sometimes I don't know what I'm going to do. Because you need confirmation. And so many times, come right on, young man. This is real. So many times we want a certain person to confirm us. They say I'm biological, but they can't because they've never been confirmed themselves. And somebody who's not been confirmed themselves can't confirm you. They don't know what to be confirmed. And you're going to have to accept the people that God planted in your life to say, I want to get confirmed. I'm tired of being crazy, feeling crazy. God speaking to your heart, would you come? Tell me what do you do? When you've done all you can then Seems like it's never enough And what do you say When your friends turn away And you're all, all alone All alone Tell me what do you give when you've given your own Seems like there's never enough While you just stand When there's nothing left to do You just stand Watch the Lord see you through 
Yes, after you've done all you can, you just stand. Tell me, how do you handle the guilt from your past? Tell me, how do you deal with the shame? And how can you smile when your heart has been broken and filled with pain, filled with pain? Tell me what do you, when you've done all you can, and it seems like you can't make it through, child, you just stand. When there is nothing left to do, you just stand. Watch the Lord see you through. Yes. After you've done all you can, you just stand, stand, and be sure, be not entangled with that bondage again. You just stand and endure. Listen, God has a purpose. Yes, God has a plan. Tell me what to do when you've done all you can. And, uh, and it seems like you can make it through. Uh, child, you just stand, 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 stand. You Don't give up. Woo! You will win through the storm, Woo! through the rain, through the hurt, Woo! and through the pain. Don't you bow. Woo! Don't give in. Don't give up. Woo! You're going to win, Mama. Listen. After you've done all you can. Woo! After you've done all you can. After you've gone through the hurt. Woo! After you've gone through the rain. You prayed and you cried. 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 Woo! You prayed and you cried. You prayed and you cried. You prayed and cried. Prayed and cried. No man. No. Woo! After you done all you can, you just stand. Oh, 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 no, no, you just stand. Oh, stand. After you've done all you can. Woo! After you've done all you can. After you've done all you can. After you've done all you can. Look at your neighbor and sing this to your neighbor and say, After you've gone through the hurt. After you've done all you can 
after you've gone all you can after you've done all you can so you just stand stay stand say it stand you After you've done all you can After you've done all you can After After you've done all you can Get out of here. After you've done all you can, you just stand. When there's nothing else to do, oh, oh you just stand. Oh, hallelujah.
this confirmation piece is major. Every parent that's in here, you know you're not confirmed. You need to be at this altar because how are you going to confirm your children and you're not? You're trying to blame them for stuff. They're getting because you're not confirmed. You got to, if you ain't confirmed, how are you speaking life into somebody else? And you ain't even confirmed about yourself. You can't do it. And if I was you, I wouldn't let pride keep me bound. There are healing. Y'all need to hear me. There are, there's healing in this place right now for relationships. I'm talking about fathers, mother, children, relationships. And I'm going to go a step further so you can grab this. There's healing for the husband-wife relationships. You can sit and look at me crazy, but if both of y'all together and neither one of y'all are confirmed, that's a disaster in the making. Because you each looking for the other one to confirm them. And somebody's wondering who's going to go first. Well, if he'll confirm me, then I'll confirm we ain't got time for all that. While you're doing all that, we're losing children. We're losing siblings. We're losing other folk. I'd be at this altar saying, man, we got to get this together. We're going to get confirmed. We, 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 life is going to be spoken, and we're going to live in abundance and flow in that life. If you're here today, I'd come to this altar. I wouldn't let pride get in the way. I'd be like, man, God's getting ready to do something in my life. I want to be free in 2014. I got to stay connected. I won't lose my mind. I won't make a bad move. And I just need to be confirmed. I'm just being real. Somebody listen to me right now. Somebody, I don't even know who my daddy is. If they would just call me. Well, confirmation may not ever come from them. You got to say, well, I'm going to receive what this man of God is saying. And I'm going to get confirmed that I'm fearfully, wonderfully late. I'm going to move on. And if they show up, great. If they don't, I'm still fearfully and wonderfully made. You can't live your life waiting for somebody to do something that they may not ever do. If you're in this place, I want to invite you to come today. And I know I need to say this. It ain't no shame in coming to the altar. So I just need to be confirmed. And who God has made me to be so I can walk in my purpose and God's destiny and plan for my life. Most of you, you haven't heard a sermon like this in your life. You didn't even understand I need to be confirmed. Jesus needed to be confirmed. And if he needed confirmation, we all need confirmation. And if God, his spirit is speaking to you in this place today, I'd be at this altar. Well, I was with a prayer warrior, kneeled down, and I wouldn't, whatever it is, because I, I need confirmation. Because my real value comes from Him. And when I'm locked into Him, everything else is going to be all right. Because He's got angels He can dispatch at a moment's notice, in the twinkling of an eye, to whatever my situation may be. If God's speaking to your heart, we want to give you this opportunity to come. Is there another today? Is there another today? There's healing in this place. Somebody, you've been mad at so-and-so? They didn't confirm me, Pastor. It's time to move on. Don't miss what God has for you. That's the plan of the enemy to trick you. Would you come today? Is another today? Is another today? We take this time because I care about you being blessed and favored. Because I believe this about the people that are connected that have been confirmed. We're going to be blessed going in and coming out. Because favor's on your life. Is there another? Every head bowed, every eye closed, right where you are. Eternal God, our Father. Lord, we speak life over every individual that came to this altar. Lord God, I speak healing on them. Lord, I speak breakthroughs. I speak favor and increase in grace on their life, Lord, like never before. 
every man that came to this altar, Lord God, that broke a generational curse. Lord, he had, ne he had never been confirmed. His daddy wouldn't confirm. He didn't know how to confirm his son. Lord, I thank you that you gave him the boldness to come to this altar. Lord, I thank you for what you did in his life. I thank you for what he's about to go do and what he's about to go say. God, I thank you for every woman that came to this altar, Lord God, that's been searching to be valued and needed, Lord God. And Lord, you confirm them by your presence on their life today. God, I decree it is so and that the devil is a lie. He cannot steal. Lord, what you have purposed and planned for your people. Because Lord, we're going to stay connected. We're going to mend them. We're going to remain. We're going to keep asking for fellow. We're going to keep asking for what we want, what we desire, what we wish. Because, Lord, we just believe you can do exceedingly abundantly above all we can ask of them. And, God, I speak today that families were healed. Generational curses were broken because no weapon formed against us shall prosper. In Jesus' name, and all of God's people shouted, it is so. Come on and give God a hand to praise.